In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use Power Automate to quickly retrieve the unique identifiers for Outlook calendar events. Let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now I am going to demonstrate how you can retrieve the event IDs or the calendar IDs for Microsoft Outlook events from a specific date range. Now I'm going to show you how I can easily grab the calendar IDs for events taking place in my calendar between Monday, October 21st and Friday, October 25th. All right, now you can see here that I've navigated to Microsoft Power Automate. Now what I'm going to do is build an instant cloud flow. So I'll select this option. Then you wanna go ahead and give your flow a name. You can see I've called this flow retrieve Outlook event IDs. Next you wanna select your trigger and I will select manually trigger a flow. And then you wanna click create. Now the next thing that you'll want to do is click on the add an action button. And in the add an action field, you wanna search for get events. And I will go ahead and select get events V4. Now the next thing that you'll need to do here is select the calendar from which you would like to retrieve the event IDs. Now if you are looking to grab the event IDs from events that you've scheduled in your own calendar, then you wanna go ahead and select calendar. And this will also display other calendars that you have access to, including things like shared calendars. Now I'll go ahead and select my calendar. And next I'll go ahead and click show all. And what we'll do next is include an OData filter query to limit the events that are returned to only those between a specific start and end time. Now you can incorporate a bunch of different filter conditions using OData filter queries. This will essentially allow you to specify which events you would like to return. Now I'll place my cursor in the filter query field and I will go ahead and paste in my OData filter. Next I'll go ahead and click on the add an action button and next I will search for the Excel connector and I will click on the see more button here. And what we're going to do is we are going to take the events that we've retrieved and we're just going to add them into a spreadsheet so that we can easily copy the event IDs. Now what I'll do is I will select the add a row into a table action. And what we'll need to do next is we will need to go ahead and search for the file. Now before we configure the action, what I've done is I've switched over to Excel and here I've created a spreadsheet called calendar ID. Now this file is stored in my Microsoft OneDrive and that is important because we'll need to update the spreadsheet to incorporate the rows from our workflow. Now an important step that you'll have to do before you finish configuring the action is you will need to convert your spreadsheet to a table. So I'll just go ahead and select a range here and I will click format as a table and I'll just select one of these options. I'll click my table has headers and I'll click OK. And you can see here that I've now formatted this as a table. Now I've switched back to Power Automate and I'll click into the location field and I will select OneDrive for business. Next, I'll go ahead and click into the document library field here and I'll select OneDrive. Next, I'll click into the file field and I will click on the open folder so that I can easily browse through my files. And you can see here the spreadsheet calendar ID that we just updated. I'll go ahead and select this. And then the last step here is to go ahead and select the table that we just created. And by default, it was called table one. So I'll select this option here. And next I'll click show all. And what this will do is this will allow us to add in the fields from our get events actions into the corresponding columns in our spreadsheet. So I'll go ahead and click into the event title column in my spreadsheet. And here I'll click on this icon to open up the dynamic content pane. And you can see here, it's going to list the attributes from the get events action. So for the event title, I'll go ahead and select the subject. And you'll also notice that it's now nested my add a row into a table action into a for each loop. Because we are retrieving multiple events, it will need to loop through each one and execute the add a row into a table action. 
Now here I've only added one date field to my spreadsheet. If you wanna capture the start date and time and the end date and time, you can just add those columns to your sheet. Or if you wanna retrieve any other details from your Outlook events, you can just add columns for those as well. I'll just go ahead and select the start time with time zone here. And then the most important step is to select the calendar ID field. So I will click on the dynamic content pane. I'll click on see more to the right of my get events action. And here you want to select the ID field, which is the events unique identifier. I'll go ahead and select this. Next, we'll go ahead and click save. You can see here that our flow is ready to go. Now I'll go ahead and I will click back. And what we'll do is we will just go ahead and run this flow. So I will click on the run button here. Next, I'll click run flow. You can see here that the flow run was successful and you can see the status is running. And you can see here that I've brought up Microsoft Excel and in a few seconds, you will see that the events from my Outlook calendar are automatically being added to this spreadsheet and you can see here that the calendar ID for these events are included in this column here so that you can reference them as needed. Now I'll just scroll over here and you can see again, the event title was populated, the actual date field that I incorporated from the event itself and the calendar ID is found in this column here. So that's it. In this video, I demonstrated how you can retrieve the Outlook calendar event unique identifiers using Microsoft Power Automate. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like, please drop a comment below, and most importantly, be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of my new content. I'm Louis Yacobelis. I'll see you in the next video.